For the sign of Cancer, hello, welcome to my channel. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, Five of Swords, and it's with a tower. Now, the Five of Swords, with this card, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Maybe about life, maybe about a few people in particular, or a person. Now, with this type of energy, it's important not to ignore these feelings. But you do have to make sure not to speak every word you're feeling and thinking either, because this could actually ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends or your lover. So, yeah, with this Five of Wands, you have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. Now, it's with a tower. This tower card can actually be about trying too tightly to hold on to the status quo. Or if you're trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, and that can be a disaster. Roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you, may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this does not have to be dire, because we all know that change, it's the nature of life, and if we try to prevent it, it could actually be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, with a tower car showing up here, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. But that's only a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you can always replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart. Just know that dreaming is important, but it's, it's also important to be living in a reality. So, Cancer Five of Swords, clarify by the Tower for the recent past energy. Now, what I'm, what I'm picking up on for a lot of you, Cancers, is that there, you, were, you were in this connection. Um, you were in a connection that you really, really wanted to fight for. Because the Five of Wands, um, like I said, it's about having mixed feelings. Um, it's, it's about um, conflict. Um, it can be about, like, going for what you what you really want, even though you're mad and angry, um, fighting for what you want. And that's how you felt. You were with someone that there was probably uh, some disagreement, arguments, some fighting, but you were, you were willing to fight for this connection just to make it work, but it looks like the tower card here, for a lot of you, it fell apart anyways. Yeah, or it felt like it was, it was falling apart for some of you, but you were really trying to fight for this connection. Yeah. Now, Let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Eight of Cups. And it's with the Two of Wands. Now, with the Eight of Cups, this card, it can mean that you choose to leave a situation that you feel is no longer working for you. It could be a relationship, a job, a neighborhood. Now, there may be some sadness involved. But, Keep in mind, the separation is actually in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship job or living arrangement, 
trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Very often one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now it's with the two of wands. Now with this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The two of wands also can indicate a partnership with another person. So this could be business, it could be personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are feeling out of balance for you, just know that they're about to get substantially better. Yeah, it's about keeping your eyes on the prize. So, Cancer, coming up, Eight of Cups, with this Two of Wands, it's clarified by. Yeah. So, like I said, you were with someone that you, you really fought to keep this connection together, or you were willing to, but it felt like it was just falling apart anyway, and for some of you it fell apart with the tower card here. Coming up with this Eight of Cups, it's, it's showing that you, you could be deciding to walk away. Yeah, because Eight of Cups can be about um, leaving it behind, moving on, abandoning, abandonment. So, yeah, you could um, be, you could have two options towards the future because the Two of Wands is about um, two paths towards the future, two options. So it's also about trying to make a decision. So you could be trying to decide, should you just leave it all behind or or should you, um, you got two options, a couple of other options. So you don't know right now which road to take. Yeah, you're trying to decide, but it looks like you could be leaning towards walking away. Now, there is some something or someone that um, sparks your interest here. Because if you look at the Two of Wands, it's the card below the word present. This man, he's sitting down. He's got a wand on each side. He's got his hand tied to one wand. And he's got his back to it, though. And the other one, he's more excited about, more interested in. He's got his he's got his ankle tied to that one. His body is facing that one, and he's looking directly into the eyes of that one. So there's some some path that you're thinking about that will that um, is sparking your attention more. So you're trying to decide, and it looks like you kind of want to just leave this all behind. Whatever tower moment this was, or whoever this was with, that you were willing to fight for, and it just fell apart, or is trying to fall apart. Yeah, you, you're trying to decide, but you kind of want to walk away. You want to just leave it all behind. And for some of you, that's what you're doing. So we move on over. We take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Seven of Wands, and it's with the Magician. Now, the Seven of Wands, with this card, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's going to be the time to actually feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate where you don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people, because with the seven of wands, your thinking is actually clear, and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card 
it does also point towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now it's with the magician, which is a card that can signify new beginnings, great expectations. This card, it also reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Um, just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but as a magician, you can actually have, well, with a magician, you can actually You can have that plate. Yes, you can. And you can have a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. And I say this because the magician is actually all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So your challenge, Cancer, Seven of Wands, clarified by the magician. So, yeah, uh, I don't know who this is you're dealing with, but um, they're actually manifesting a new beginning with you. They still want this to work. Oh, yes, they do. You got the Seven of Wands and the Magician. They want to come out on top, even though it feels like it's falling apart. They want to win this connection. They want to be the last man standing. That's what the Seven of Wands is about. You're still in their mind. You're still in their thoughts. They're trying to get a fresh new start with you. They want to keep it going. Um, they've got great expectations for you and them for this new year. Yes, they're still in it to win it. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So, we got the Knight of Wands, and it's with the Three of Wands. Now, when the Knight of Wands appears, it's actually, it's showing a great time for travel, if you can get away. Um, the Knight of Wands is charged up, full of, en full of energy, and ready to get things done. So, your self-confidence is increasing which should help reach towards your goals. The Knights are often message bearers, and the messages are likely to be positive. It can be related to work, could be related to career, career, family, or romance. If you have any projects, they're likely to be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. Now, it's with the Three of, yeah, three of Wands. Three of Wands. Okay, well, with this card, you could find that your finances are going much better. In fact, this can actually be a time when you feel like your ship has finally arrived. So you're likely to be feeling very strong with a good reason. You may be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now, the Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it can mean that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and they're well, they're well respected. Okay, so the outcome cancer. Like I said, your person, they still want this. They, they got all kinds of great expectations for the connection for this new year. They're manifesting a fresh new start or... A new beginning with you. You're about ready to walk away and weigh your other options. Because you got you got a couple of other options. You got a couple of different paths to take. Um, they want to come out on top, be the last man standing. Now the outcome is showing with the Knight of Wands here is that you, you're, you're still in it, but not really. You kind of just got one foot in and one foot out. Because the Knight of Wands is about an in-and-out type of energy. Yeah, so. Yeah, now what your person wants you to do is get on board. Yeah, they want you to be like this Three of Wands. The Three of Wands 
is about looking ahead with growth and expansion. And it's about um, making the decision to go forward. And this is how your person feels. They want you to get on board. Yeah, let's go forward. Let's look ahead with growth and expansion. They could want teamwork with you. Um, yeah, so for some of you, your person is at, at a distance from you. could be long distance with this three wand showing up. So they could be coming towards you. Trying to um, get this get this back on track and trying to convince you that the two of you should go forward. Um, yeah, because the Knight of Wands is here. It could be about messages. So this person will be trying to communicate with you. Could be calling you. Could be texting you. Could be knocking at your door. They want you to go forward. They still want this to work, Cancer. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season and all the crazy that's going on in the news. Stay strong. Take care. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get the readings, um, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. However it resonates. However it resonates.